Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. It's a different, it is the latest, it is the newest addition to the channel, the one that everybody's been talking, Time Magazine, Forbes Magazine, they haven't been reaching out, so make sure you call, <laughs> ask them to call me, okay? <laughs> because this is the Astro Chica, the number one astrology authority. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me explain how it works. We're reading your chart. Vedic's Ideal Astrology, yes. I will be using your Ascendant and Moon sign on this, on this computer, okay? But for the Tarot, we know there's only one... Uh, no, I cannot say um, Tarot King because I think there is someone who's a king for Tarot. I don't think I am. Okay. Well, I'm beyond. I'm an emperor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you for that, for reminding me. My guides are so, uh, you know, very, very courageous for saying that. <laughs> Being there, supporting me all the way. The Tarot, any kind of Capricorn placements you have, we will use it for your guides. Before we start, make sure you visit my store. It is already available and open. Available. It's already open. Um, it's in Los Angeles. So make sure you visit. Say hi. I don't buy it, but I can't promise. Wink. <laughs> okay. so, so what kind of store is that? Something that, in, that makes us happy. Okay, so do check it out. It's in Los Angeles in Studio City. If you are a local or you're visiting, make sure. Um, we're going to put it in the map. Okay, not in the mop. Okay, map. Okay, here we go. Um, Saturn. Mm. Saturn, because <laughs> I'm looking at Capricorn and Saturn is there. Ouch. Oh. Okay, hate it, love it. You, you can't get rid of it. Okay. Saturn is a blessing more than a challenge. Without hardship, you will never know okay, what it means to be happy. Saturn will you know work hand in hand with your Jupiter here. Your struggles will be a little bit temporary. Of course, everything is temporary. Happiness is also temporary. But I'm seeing here that this little struggles that you are you are having right now, I feel like it's in the marriage. Uh, business, partnership, it has been a struggle lately. Um, they're being difficult. They're being complicated. But it's asking of you to find solution how to make it work. Not to divorce, not to separate. Uh -huh. But again, it, it varies from relationship to relationship. I would suggest doing some Saturn remedy. Okay. Not everybody can, um, you know, can afford gemstone. Plus, it is also very, very, you know, if it's already a challenge, don't bring more challenge. Right? So what is the weakness in your chart but if you have saturn exalted if you have saturn in libra and swati then that's exaltation right but here saturn is actually comfortable in capricorn it's called monotricona right it is in its own home so it's actually giving you a blessing yes mm -hmm. you're actually favored here so no need for any kind of remedy would you imagine that this is what they're saying no need for remedy sal they got other planets to worry <laughs> so i got 99 problems saturn ain't one <laughs> that's what they say because it's your ascendant lord okay ascendant lord in the first house of course it's going to give you blessing you are unbeatable your health is going to be good for the next a year more and a half so don't worry about it with the moon in capricorn that's a little bit different because that is in your sadisati it's in its high time but in reality, it's not because Saturn rules Capricorn. So out of all the people who are experiencing Sadi Sadi, you might be even just cruising. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a Gwyneth Paltrow moment. No, not like Goop. Mm -mm. Cruising's made for love. I think that's a song for you. Cruising is made for love. Yeah. I love. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the one. Money is going to be coming to you. Family is going to be very happy. There's going to be a lot of food on the table, I see here. Can you invite me? <laughs> I love food. I love you then, right? <laughs> so I'm seeing here that you're going to be very, very joyful. If you are a singer or someone who does career for their voice, this is the best time for you to sell yourself out there. Create that album, okay? 
um, you can, and I feel like you are favored if you're doing that. Any kind of financial investment, I feel like, no, not yet. Okay, you're learning. Um, there might be some difficulty with your child, children if you have kids. So I feel like they're in their a little bit like, oh, I don't know why I give birth to you. That kind of moment. Yeah. So you will endure this for a year and a half more. Okay. So cap it lang. <laughs> if you're a mom. Okay? Meaning hold on it. Okay. And if you're a dad, um, hold on it too. Okay. I'm seeing here that there's going to be a lot of trying to get business. You're going to be involved here. Be careful in who you trust your money. Mm-hmm. Be careful on who's asking. It's like, hey, you want to invest here, this and that. A year and a half, don't. Mm -hmm. If you're single and you're looking for someone to date, be careful also. Because they look good. And if someone looks good, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I look good. So am I? Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm the only one who can say I look good. Because I'm the only one. Nobody says that. I'm kidding. <laughs> So I'm seeing here that there is a challenge for you at work, but you always just come in and just get it done like magic. You go in and solve issues and problem like nobody can. You are on the top. You are in the premiere. You are going to be receiving an achievements after, after, after each one. Health-wise, you are golden. I see it here. You're going to be starting a new regimen. You're going to be more active. I'm seeing here you're, on, you're um, signing up to online courses. You might be also watching... Um, like physical fitness activities online and you're doing it from home. That's good. I'm seeing here you're more tech savvy than ever. You might also be venturing into a tech company and you're invested there. Okay. But you're not a partner partner, but I feel like you might want to be moving to a tech company. This is what I'm seeing. It's a little bit difficult for your partner right now if you are married because they don't know if you love them or you hate them. Tell them, express to them, I hate you. <laughs> Because they don't know, right? Then, okay, I'll communicate. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm kidding. Tell them you love them. Tell them you're still passionate about the connection. But don't lie. You got to be the truth. You got to tell the truth over here. I'm seeing here that you have a tendency right now to feel like hot and cold with a person that you like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you like them. Sometimes you hate. Sometimes you're avoiding them. Um, there will be some, you are going to be doing some cleansing with regards to who you associate with, your friends. It's going to become more smaller and smaller and smaller because you don't need a lot of karma anyway. This is what they're saying. So, let's see what is your tarot. Your tarot is king of swords. This is the aqua. This is, uh, this card symbolizes future thinking. If you can think of the future, then you can plan for the future. If you can plan for the future, then you already missed on it. Meaning, don't get stuck thinking about the future and planning. Make sure that you are living in the moment. Why do I say that the, you know, the aqua in uh, this king of swords is future? I feel like, you know, one, we are in the Aquarian uh, age, right? So it's very futuristic. So we're all about the next big thing, the next thing, the next thing. But then we forgot what is important in front of us. So be realistic. Use logic. Try to stay grounded. And, you know, with the king of swords, I feel like use your mind more than your heart this time. This is very Saturnian, all right? Do your due diligence, they say. Work hard, and then everything will be paid off later on, all right? Because that's a king. So thank you very much, guys, for watching your Astro Chica, your number one astrology authority. I like how I say that. It's very smooth. It's like, this is it. For 10 years, I've been growing this channel, you know, for the Astro Authority. I'll be receiving Emmy, Golden Globe, and a lot of awards. Um, also the Pulitzer, um, what's the other one? The Nobel, <laughs> everything for Astro Chica. It is here. <laughs> so I'm kidding. All right. With no disrespect to all the awardees, I will be second runner up though. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Right here, it's flashing the address to my store. Make sure you visit. If you think you're having a good time here, imagine when you're around me. And I'm selling you something you're going to buy. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day. Bye.